Good day everyone. In this video we're going to talk about the Morimoto 9007-9004 relay harness and how it comes and how you can uh, make it work for what you need. So these come out of the package with 9004 connections. So meaning they have the pin colors here all swapped around. This will not work for what we want in a 9007 application for a Ford like an Econoline or a Bronco or something. So the way to fix this, and you want to always make sure that this is the case, is we need to switch the brown and blue wires side to side. Nothing more than that. And so the in the 9007 instance, the blue wire is the high beam and the brown wire is the low beam. White is ground. So in order to do that, we got to go to the other side of the connector here. And you can see that there are obviously the same three pins and there are recesses above each pin. So there's one right here and then obviously there's one for each. And so what we want to do is we want to use a, a tool. I prefer a very small screwdriver, like a precision type one. And you put it in with the flat blade parallel to the pin. And then you go in there and you push down on the pin. It's kind of a two-handed operation. So I'm pushing down on the pin. And as you push down, you can pull it out. Now, keep in mind, you're not done though. You can't just push this back in because this retaining clip here, generally, if you push down hard, it will stay down. So you wanna pull that back up. So we'll do the same thing on this other side over here for the opposite side. And if you push it correctly, it will flip right out just like that. Same thing. Never forget to slip this pin back up. <clears throat> this is a problem because they will push out otherwise. Also note that if the wires here are too long beyond the edge of the connecting crimp here, this connection will not work correctly either. So if you make your own versions of these, make sure you clip them off just after the crimp. Very important. So now at this point, we're ready to put this thing back together. We're going to we're gonna set this up for 9007 for use, primarily on a call line, because that's our main product line. So blue wine is your high beam. So you're going to put that in, obviously, with the pin, in this case, the connecting clip up. So we'll put it in, and you'll be able to hear it snap. Good. And so the other side... Um, do the same thing. So you have to figure out where the pin goes. The clip goes, in this case, up again, because it has the, the recess on top. So we'll put the clip up. We'll put it in, align it, and then click. Good to go. And you're good. Another thing to keep in mind is when you look at these connectors, a little, let's see if we can add a little more light to the subject here. Um, you want to make sure that they're kind of square and you know straight, flat with each other and that they're not excessively loose or anything. When you go to connect them to your harness <clears throat> in the car, uh, this is a fairly delicate connection as well. So you do not want to just jam them in and call it a day. You want to make sure that you kind of put it in, wiggle it a bit, make sure everything lines up, and then make your connection so that the, the main clip can, can, can secure out here. Also come back and make sure that none of the pins out here are, are pushed out. So you shouldn't be able to see any metal See, like right now we can't see any metal beyond the edge of the clip. You shouldn't be able to do that. If you can, um, you can always push these back in once it's connected to the other side, to the car side or anything. You can push them back in and make sure that they're, they've got a solid connection. If for some reason your clip broke on the car, which is very, very common, um, you can do something as simple as run a zip tie, a wire tie, through both sides. Just make sure it goes in between one of the wires here and one of the wires on the car side. And it doesn't have to be super tight or anything, but just make sure that it make sure that it's in there, and that'll that'll keep them pushed together, even if you don't have the mechanical uh, clasp in place. Which these connectors on some of these cars, being you know approaching quite the age right now, um, they're uh, they're 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 obviously brittle and, and need to be treated as such. So take care with this connection. Uh, that's how that works. Um, also, keep in mind that you want to try and mount the relay as close to vertical as possible to make sure there's no water ingress to the the main uh, connection pack here to the relay. So 
those are just some tips. Also, we've had some of our other videos showing how to do the uh, the 9006 type plug depending. You shouldn't have to do that with any of this stuff, but make sure that you uh, make sure you, you educate yourself on how that stuff works. If you do have connection issues with a ballast or something, that way you know how to how to manage uh, how to manage that. Now that you're set like this with your your blue, white, and brown in the correct orientation, that's high ground and low. You are good to go.